What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We're going to be talking about Scream 7. We're going to be talking about Saw X. We're going to talk about The Strangers. We're going to talk about Smile 2 and some other stuff related to Spyglass. But starting off here with Scream 7. So Scream 7, according to Daniel RPK, is going to start shooting in October. Now, I will say that this is still the fall time frame that we had heard because Nev Campbell and her manager, Sean Clark, when it comes to conventions, did tell us that it was tentatively planned to shoot in September. That specifically came from Sean. Others have said that Campbell herself was saying September at these conventions, but I hadn't seen any footage of her saying such a thing. Now, tentative, of course, would lend itself to possibly there being some validity in what Daniel is saying and that it could have changed to October and not September. But regardless, it's still the fall. Now, why has it changed to October? From what I have heard, because I had just also heard a few weeks ago, the script wasn't done, or at least it was done, but then they decided to go back and do some more revisions, and now it's just finally getting done. I seriously just think that Scream 7 is struggling to acquire some crew members, and just from people who have gone through the controversy that is the Jeepers Creepers franchise, I wouldn't be surprised if they are just struggling to find crew members. They struggled to find a director. They went to Kevin Williamson as a last resort, and I wouldn't be shocked if they're struggling to cast roles. It just wouldn't be too shocking. Now, when it comes to Mason Gooding, he apparently is going to be shooting another film with Spyglass titled Hard Eyes, and he's going to be starring alongside Olivia Holt. Now, what's interesting about this is that Christopher Landon and Michael Kennedy are involved in the screenplay. And it's being directed by Josh Rubin. Now, what's interesting is that Chris Landon, we know, was supposed to direct Scream 7. Mason Gooding was supposed to return for Scream 7. And a lot of people think he might actually do such do such a thing now because of the fact that he's still involved with Spyglass. All I will say is that from what I have heard, he's been involved for some time. And a lot of what this project is doing right now was on pause as it pertains to what Spyglass was going to firstly do with Scream 7. So Mason himself, from what I've heard, has been involved with the project for some time. It is not something he just recently signed on to, but that's pretty much a given with most things that we find out from these reputable outlets. These are things that actually have probably been a thing for some time, but now they've been given a green light to announce it because news does get embargoed, just so you guys are aware of that. Now, when it comes to this movie, Hard Eyes, Hard Eyes is apparently going to revolve around a killer in Seattle, a pair of co-workers or when when the heart eyes killer strikes Seattle, a pair of co-workers pulling overtime on Valentine's Day are mistaken for a couple by the elusive couple hunting killer. Now they must spend the most romantic night of the year running for their lives. From what I've heard about heart eyes, there's an emoji you'll see them using. That's that heart eyes emoji. Allegedly, that's what the mask is going to look like for the killer. That sounds goofy. We'll just have to wait and see if this is even worth anything to be excited about. I myself really don't care. Diving into the next topic here. We got this first look at The Strangers 2, Madeline Pesh returning in the role or returning for the film, as we already knew. If you haven't already seen it, spoiler alert. Well, actually, it's not even a spoiler because the crew, they revealed this weeks ago. Madeline's character made it out alive while Freud died. Judging from this image, it's clear she's hiding in the same woods that we saw during the first film, most likely. And this sequel is probably going to tackle how this night impacted her psyche while she strolls through town, paranoid, waiting on her car to get fixed and speculating if any of the townspeople or someone specifically from that diner had anything to do with her boyfriend's, her and her boyfriend's nightmare. Now, I'm going to just watch because of Maddie and perhaps this sequel and trilogy closer will end up being better than the last one. Although I have doubts that the execution will win me over. You guys can let me know if you're looking forward to this next Strangers Project. Why or why not down below? I really at this point am in autopilot when it comes to these upcoming films coming from this trilogy. Jumping into Smile 2. Smile 2 is reportedly titled Smile Deluxe. That's coming from Daniel RPK as well. This title caused a fire on Twitter when I posted it because apparently it's lame and ridiculous to some of you. However, the title could be further confirmation on what I've been revealing about this film. Our protagonist is a singer played by Naomi Scott, rumored to be named Sky. She has some tour going on during the film, so Deluxe in this case could tie into a Deluxe album drop from this singer during her tour. Does it make the title any better? To me, no. I do think the title is pretty lackluster and I think they should change it, but I can understand why it's being called Deluxe as it pertains to the subject matter that this movie is centered on a famous pop star who's going on a musical tour. 
So we'll just have to wait and see if this title sticks. What do you guys think about the Smile 2 title? Do you think it's lame? Do you really not care? We're going to talk now about Saw X. Marcus Dunstan has given us a brief update. Well, not Saw X, Saw 11. Marcus Dunstan, who was writing Saw 11 with Patrick Melton, has given us an update on the status while speaking with Screen Rant recently. This comes from a Bloody Disgusting article, but he says we're writing 11 right now and Kevin Grudert is returning to direct. He went on to say that's one where it got something new to say and it's angry. Or I guess he's saying this one has something new to say and it's angry. I mean, whatever. Just make a good movie. That's really all I care about. This, These words did not do anything to get me overly excited. It's nice to know that they are writing the screenplay still. That's the biggest takeaway here. Hopefully, the screenplay that they're cooking up is something that is on par with what we got from Saw X in terms of the quality, if not something that exceed, supersedes what we got with Saw X. I would love to see that too. Saw 11 being better than Saw X, being better than Jigsaw, being better than Spiral. I would love that. I would love to keep seeing them outdo themselves if this is going to be some sort of renaissance for the jigsaw saw franchise you guys let me know if you are looking forward to saw 11 down in the comment section below i'm sure that you are what do you think about hard eyes do you really not care what do you think about the title of smile 2 what do you think about scream 7 possibly shooting in october instead of september again i don't think it's a big deal it's just a one month difference all i really hope when it comes to saw 11 is again that they hunker down take that screenplay seriously take all the time they need and i still will predict this they're most likely going to spend all of this year writing this script and then going into 2025 very early on that is when filming will start and we will start to get more information about the film then i'm certain we will learn about the cast and crew throughout the rest of this year but i just don't see filming actually starting until january next year I think they're going to really take getting this screenplay right, considering a lot of the rumored details we were hearing about producers meddling in the quality of what could have ended up being a train wreck if it came out this year. Saw 11 is supposed to now arrive in theaters next September and not this September. So hopefully they are cooking up something that is on par, if not better than Saw X, because Saw X was just such a good return to form. It reminded me of the Saw of old and it got me excited to see what comes next. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.